Hi folks, and welcome to another video for Tableau in two minutes. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating how to use a table calculation to create year over year change numbers. Uh, it's really very simple, um, and you can do it with uh, data that's laid out in various ways, but ideally the way you would want to do this is with your data laid out as a time series. Now we have some of that data in this uh, construction spending data set. This is US construction spending by segment. Um, as you can see, we have it by segment, uh, and this covers years since 2002 to the present, so we have plenty of years to calculate the change from. Uh, this data is uh, not part of the Tableau uh, package, but you can download it from the Tableau website. There is a link in the comments if you would like to try this out uh, on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, the layout for our dashboard here. The first thing is a per name, period name. Um, that's the one that's going to give us our years. Uh, and we're going to break this out by quarter. So you can see we have a 2002 to 2016 with Q quarters each broken out. Um, and then we're going to take um, we're actually going to take the category description and we're going to put it on filters here. And then we want to filter this only to represent total construction spending. There it is down at the bottom. Uh, and the reason we want to do that is because we don't want to inadvertently sum up too many categories. Um, obviously, we want to make sure that our data, even though we're just playing with this, so that our data is, uh, is actually real. And then we're going to take this val and we're going to drag it into this table right here. Now you can see this gives us the raw revenue numbers, which is great. Uh, and because we have a time series, Tableau has a really neat option where you can click on year over year growth and it will automatically calculate the year over year growth. How easy is that? Uh, in past versions of Tableau, that wasn't the case. So you did have to create the table calculation manually. And we're actually gonna do that because it's pretty easy to do. So just to create a second value field here, we'll show you how these match in a second. We're going to click here, click to quick table calculation, and then we're going to go percent difference. When we click on percent difference, it's going to default to showing us the difference from the previous value. So uh, Q2 spending was 20.99% greater than Q1, Q3 was 6.72% greater than Q2, so on down the list. Now we don't want that, we want it to be year over year spending, so we're going to come in here, we're going to use the compute using, um, and then we have a couple of options here, but we don't have the year or the quarter. So to do this, we're gonna go into edit table calculation. In here, you see that we can select various different compute options. We can change the type of table calculation. What we want to do though, is we wanna select specific dimensions right here. And this is gonna give us the option to include or exclude various things. So if you look at this right now, we're computing relative to the previous, everything is highlighted. So it's computing from the previous item in this list. It's uncheck quarter. You can see that uh, we've now got no data in any of the years from Q, from 2002, which is a good sign. And only the Q1s are highlighted. So this is computing the difference along this set of values, which is exactly the way we want it. So we're essentially, uh, again, um, computing the difference and, and, and skipping four things in the middle here, but really computing the difference using the year of the period name, which is the values we have up here. So we can close this out and then just look. So the values match between the two tables. So the year over year growth um, is the same no matter which way you do it. The reason this way is a bit more flexible is because Tableau will automatically add the year over year growth calculation if you have a date field. If you don't have a date field, if you just had say um, a column that represented years and a column that represented months or a column that represented quarters, that option wouldn't be available. So you need to use this other method to get to it. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Again, if you want to try this out at home, the data is in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks so much.